This week on Logan Lee's Adventure is all about polo. I've been wanting to learn how to play polo for just so long, and what better place to do it in the land that's grand masters of it here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Today is a sunny, hot day in Argentina, of course, because it's a beautiful, beautiful country. And I'm going to be doing quite a special activity. So I'm out here at this club and we're gonna do our first ever polo lesson. That's right, the king, the sports of kings, polo. It's such a beautiful day. I am so, so pumped. Look at this grand, gigantic field for polo. Okay, I'm just putting on my boots. Gotta put on these guys for my first lesson. And then also have a Argentina polo that I can change into. It's so cool. <laughs> Putting on my helmet now. Mm, there we go. It fits. Ooh. So, how do I look? How do I look? What do you think? <laughs> this is the horse that I'm going to be playing and riding with. The polo pony. Okay. So when you walk with the horse, you're going to ride with the left hand and take it like this. Whew. Oh my goodness. So that was my first polo lesson and that was so much fun. It was it was a lot. It was intimidating to begin with. I was so well I wasn't nervous but I was definitely intimidated. Uh, I've been on a horse before, but you know, like you're learning the, you're kind of like, for me, it was starting at the basics again. For the first half of today's lesson was feeling the horse, seeing how the movement goes, uh, and like just being like, okay, stop, go, left, right. And then the second half was to hit the polo ball and like learning actually how to like swing my arm properly hitting the ball properly so that that was just everything has just been so cool uh it is only my first lesson this is so sick you can see such a cool polo club here it's just such a cool feeling and to like hold the mallet in my hand and then swinging it and just being able to pick those things up and learning from it like really cool <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> so so yeah, it's 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 pretty it's I mean it's a lot of hand eye coordination, but for when you're on the horse, it's it's like you're acting like a mirror to your horse. Um there's just a lot to go through. Like you're thinking a lot, but you're also trying to relax a lot, like throughout the whole process of playing it and learning it because that's how you do the best. Uh, like for to hit the ball with the mallet, um, you have to just, as I was swinging, you saw me like swinging my arm. Like I had to swing in like a pendulum, but it wasn't, I couldn't swing it hard. Like you're not supposed to, or else you, you won't make that impact with the ball. So to keep, and then I had to keep my wrist straight um, and my forearm a certain way. And then when I, hit the ball I had to like bring my mallet up a certain way so it was a lot to put all together and then I'm really excited for next week's lesson because next week the second lesson let me just get ready take off my take off my boots my polo boots and then we're gonna enjoy some empanadas but next week lesson um 
yeah, empanadas to to end the end the first day. These are so nice. I love the brown leather. Uh, to end. So, so next week's lesson, I would say, I keep getting distracted. Next week's lesson is going to be integrating the what I learned today with hitting with the mallet to riding it on the horse. So like step by step, all coming together, especially for the first day. I mean, I could do this like all day, really. And to end the day from the awesome lessons, these empanadas con carne, <laughs> which is a traditional local meal dish food from Argentina. After my intense morning, afternoon of polo and playing polo for the first time, we are now going to be going to watch polo. By we, I mean me and you, because they have a tournament here at the Campo. Ooh, look at that, that's so cool. So cool. So yeah, so they're gonna have a tournament here. This is the huge, I would say the cathedral of Polo. This is where in Palermo, in my neighborhood, where all the stars in the field of Polo start their careers before they go international. So there's tons of World Cups here. There's tons of games and matches here. And the crazy thing is, is that admission, it's all free. So I can just come here, like I literally just walk in. That's it. So cool. This field is huge. Look at that. And it's right smack middle of the city. You can already see, ooh, can you already see some of the players warming up. I'm having such a big fanboy moment right now. Like, this is just absolutely so, so freaking cool. <laughs> what? Stadium seating, let's go! As you can see, it's just kind of because it's free entry. You just sit anywhere, basically. <laughs> Everyone's clapping. I think it's about to start. Okay, it is, it looks like it's England versus the US. <laughs> So everything is in Spanish, as you can hear, not gonna lie, don't understand anything, but really fun and really exciting. It's a great way to kickstart polo in Argentina. I was just thinking, imagine living in these apartments. You get to watch, I mean, I know the shows is free, but literally you get to just watch it from your apartment, like your apartment balcony. That's pretty sick. Those are prime time views. All these apartments. I'm off to my second polo lessons out in the countryside, the north of Buenos Aires. My driver is here to pick me up, so I can't wait. <laughs> I'm both excited but nervous at the same time. He's here. Hola! Gracias. Awesome. There he is. Hola! Hola. 
Good morning. Gracias. All right, it's about an hour drive up north to the the polo club and the equestrian club and we always start really early so we start well really early for Argentinian time um, so the pickup is at 9 30 a.m and then my driver drives me it takes about yeah an hour to get there and then we start lessons around for two hours and then by 1 30 I am back got dressed up <laughs> and then now my polo helmet has to go on hold on I love this helmet this bright red helmet mm. there you go Ooh, this is the fashion this is the look this is the moment <laughs> there's no polo player ever <laughs> So on the field today, they're having a polo match happening right now. And so we get to try out the arena today for the lesson. This huge pit. It's really cool, it's such a different terrain. Whereas the field that we had our first lesson was right there. The polo match is going on. So starting off, just practicing hitting the ball with my mallet on the ground first and then we're gonna do a lot of riding and then incorporating the two together but this is just like a warm-up to practice again ah! I think the, the challenging thing about this for me is loosening up my body because you have to like be like really self-aware of your body movement but also relax at the same time to like hit the ball and then you're just swinging your arm like my trainer Sabrina says like a pendulum but you know all this thing is going on in, in wow thinking about hitting the ball and at the same time you have to relax so and as a person who is always like kind of like tense I have to like breathe more I have to like really like breathe while I'm focusing but it's really cool because it combines it's such a, like you're relaxing while you're like intensely focusing on hitting the ball and this is just on the ground right now this is not even on the horse yet so when we combine those two I'm very, I'm very curious to see how that will go. After my polo lessons, I'm always treated to empanadas at the polo club, which is just so scrumptious. I always scarf these babies down too. And then after, as I head back into town, I asked my driver if he could make a pit stop at Arandu, which is this premier polo store in Buenos Aires owned by the same family for generations. It's a multi-level floor store with so many goods. Love this polo book. Love touching everything. Because everything is so gorgeous. Balance. Ooh. 
So post polo practice, I definitely wanted to come here to check out this store. It has all these high-end luxury horse equestrian goods and also polo goods such as you can get your leather boots here, your mallet as well, and then look, oh, of course. Exploring the third floor now. This is such a cool store. There's even more goods up here. Like, holy smokes. Look at these bags. <laughs> Go shopping for some really nice polos. I hope you enjoyed my first learning polo adventures and check out my next vlog for more of my polo lessons as I learn how to become a polo player right here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Leave me a comment below, click like and hit subscribe because there's more coming for ya.